It's easy to just look at the headline, but actually there are some really good investment opportunities. There are opportunities out there. It's easy to just look at the headlines and look at stretch valuations in certain areas and think that we are in a certain type of environment. But actually, there are some really good investment opportunities. Oh, well, that's good to hear. And so on that note, what does it all really mean for sort of your average investor? So by which I mean someone who is investing, but perhaps doesn't want to be in the weeds and all of the real finer detail. I mean, I think the key takeaways here is that Actually, it's a reasonably good time to be invested. Okay. I mean, our advice would always be you remain invested, you stay invested, and that will help you through the course of the, the different cycles. But actually, it is a reasonably good environment mm. at the moment. So from an investment perspective, it would appear that the first half of the year hasn't quite turned out as we expected. So what does that mean for the second half and what would you expect? So if I was... If I was at school, if I was giving myself a score, yeah. I'd probably give myself six out of okay. ten on that one. All right, decent. Right ideas, wrong time. Okay. And I think what we've seen so far is we are still in that environment. And, mm. and you said about what about the second half? I'm, we are anticipating really a lot of those thoughts around a pivot with central banks, so we're starting to yeah. see a fall in interest rates being pushed into the second half. We have seen inflation come under control. It remains slightly sticky, yeah. but we're starting to get some more positive news coming through. Yeah. OK. Of course, we've got the big election coming up in the States as well. So let's get the crystal ball out. Um, what kind of things are you keeping an eye on? What do you think might be a growth area in the second half of the year and then into 2025? Yeah. So a number of different areas. We've talked about fixed income before, so these are sort of things like uh, the bond markets so or gilts, as well as buying corporate debt. These are things that give you a yield. They pay out interest. Um, we do like that area of the market. Yeah. Because, as Madhushri was saying uh, just now, you have that sort of imbalance between falling interest rates, mm -hmm. rising values. Okay. So that's what you get from that market, as opposed to cash, mm. where falling interest rates just means you get less money coming in for your cash. Right, got so it. we do like fixed income. Um, we do increasingly like equities, but very selectively so. Mm -hmm. So areas uh, that we've been adding into portfolios recently have been a US mid and small companies. Uh, they give us exposure <coughs> to the local, the more domestic economy. Um, they do look like they're pretty well valued okay. as opposed to the large cap. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the larger companies. So we do like those sorts of areas within portfolios and actually increasingly like what we would describe as more cyclical stocks, things that will do well as economies start to turn. Okay. So if we start to see things strengthen in the economy as we anticipate, those areas that will do well. Most things are cyclical, aren't they? Absolutely. Ultimately. So finally, if I'm not investing yet, but I was thinking about entering the investment market, what should I be thinking about and, and when would be a good time to go for it? So... There are all sorts of cliches that one could use, like timing, not time in. So you want to be in the market, not trying to time the market. And almost all evidence historically would yeah. say you stay in the market and the longer you're in the market, the more that time value yeah. helps you mitigate against some of those risks that you see. But I know that, you know, that doesn't necessarily always help someone yeah. who's just there and actually a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is if you're just sitting in cash, if we start to see interest rates fall, yeah. what you're going to get from your cash diminishes, mm -hmm. so that starts to fall away. It doesn't mean that the value of the cash itself has fallen, but your interest rates will fall. Yeah. Now, the flip side of that is that on those other things that you could have been invested in, like fixed income, in many equity markets as well, will do very well in a falling interest rate environment. So if you wait on the sidelines in cash, you've got a falling interest rate return, and you maybe have missed out mm. on the opportunity that your money's not itself. working for it's you. It's not working for yeah. you, and you've missed that opportunity. Okay. So, general rule of thumb is you get involved, you get invested, and you stay invested. Get stuck in.